Nature follows a virtuous cycle. A circle in nature does not produce any residuals. But the natural cycle is disrupted by worldwide plastic waste. Corporate innovators such as Biotech have been translating this challenge into their unique business model. The company owns 200 patents dedicated primarily to the waste avoiding food and healthcare sectors. Let's get deeper into Biotech's successful business model. Polymers are nothing else than molecules of the same structure, basically glued together. Biotech uses natural biopolymers like starch, or we use polymers which are built up in the same way that they degrade. What would you say are the specific advantages of biopolymers? There are two advantages. One is that we use a natural material, so we basically absorb CO2 from nature, use that and then release it in the end again. And the second one is really this release where we can use biopolymers to divert biomass waste, like from the kitchen or industrial, to composting and or to biogas. And that helps to reduce the CO2 footprint. So here are some products that some of our customers have made from our bioplast material. For example, the fruit and vegetable bags, which are very common in the southern parts of Europe because of the legislation. Then we have this so-called single-use plastics for plates. For example, a coffee cup lid used once, why should we throw it away and incinerate it when we have a different environmental friendly solution? At Biotech, we like to approach all the problems in a holistic way. And we like to take into consideration our supplier's communication strategy and our customers, but we also like to think of the end-of-life solutions. Was sind deiner Meinung nach die nächsten großen Schritte in der Branche? Biokunststoffe können helfen, die Umwandlung von Biomasseabfällen zur Kompostierung zu erleichtern. Unsere Verantwortung gegenüber der Gesellschaft und unseren Kunden begegnen wir mit bewussten Entscheidungen und Engagement. We have to see what we've developed. Does it actually fit to the customer's needs? Does it fit to the legislation? That is the interactability with the customer, with trials, where we actually work together very, very closely with the customer. Do you think biopolymers can be able to replace any kind of non-bioplastics? That's already happening right now. We see it in the bag market, we see it in the coffee capsules, in the tea bags. If we want to reduce the global footprint, we need to get the biomass out of the landfill and out of incineration to get it back to the farmers. How exactly does biodegradation work? Biodegradation is a very broad term. It is a process that considers any material that can break down into nature. At Biotech, we take one step forward. We consider compostable goods, mainly made of organic material, that are determined to break down in specific conditions and in a certain time frame. When we try to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions, we know that 26% were from the food industry, where 6% was only due to food waste. So as soon as we can avoid this food waste by packing, we should pack, but we should pack smart. Biotech stellt sich den Herausforderungen, mit denen die Öffentlichkeit heute und auch in Zukunft konfrontiert sein wird, wenn wir sie nicht rechtzeitig angehen. Wir arbeiten mit den Bedürfnissen unserer Partner, um gemeinsam Entwicklungen zu etablieren. Das erlaubt Biotech, wann immer möglich und nötig, individuelle Lösungen zu erarbeiten und einen Schritt nach dem anderen in die Zukunft zu gehen. Dabei bleiben unsere Absichten unerschüttert, auch wenn es unsere Produkte absichtlich nicht tun. To work with the customers, finding solutions to what makes our society in the end sustainable, motivates and drives all of us. We're trying to find more sustainable solutions for me, there's nothing better than working with a customer and trying to find out how can I solve his problem, how can I bring him a solution which fits for him, and that's the best reward you can get.